As you can see, he needed help. He hadn't had anything in a couple of days, so it was time for me to step in. I have a firm but gentle grip on him, holding the wings down, and they naturally knead like you would knead dough um, with their hands uh, when they're drinking, because that's what they would be doing to the flour. So. And as you can see, the drinking is taking place right now. You can see. How is my arm holding up? Ooh, it's not fun, but it's got to be done. So basically what I'm doing is I'm jimmying my hand a little bit against the corner of the unit so that I can rest a little bit. This ledge that I have uh, silicone to the screen also helps because I find they need a good solid 10 minutes to fill up their bellies when you're helping him. Otherwise, he'd be flying in and out on his own. Come on, bud. Sometimes their proboscis gets stuck in their arms, so you have to be careful. But that's it in a nutshell. Sometimes you have to help them along, and if you notice they are not drinking, and you have to know if they're drinking or not, then they will die in a matter of days versus hanging around for a few weeks. So there you have it. I just wanted to toss this video up for those that are finding their, their uh, Manduka mods are not necessarily drinking. This is how I do it. And it gives you a perspective right there. Um, I don't have that entire bottle filled up. That's just too much. I change it out more regularly like every other day. Uh, with some warm nectar and yeah the nectar gets cold but it's there and it's fresh so I don't really fill the whole bottle up just the bottom half and then I have another one right here with um, it's half full so they have options right now I just have this one manduka um, this manduka was buried in my uh, South African bullfrogs tank for several weeks several and just a appeared. So I have others that are buried, but I'm not sure if they're going to arrive or not. I'm just not sure. Anyway, there you go. Have a blessed day. And remember, God is awesome. Bye.